Hello everyone, good morning, good evening uh, and uh, welcome to the Northern California Home Gardening channel. So today what I will be doing is, uh, uh, you know, so, so some of you may be looking at your citrus trees and uh, looking at your yellowing of the leaves, right? So you won't know, you, you would have put enough water and you would have put uh, enough, uh, you know, fertilizers, but still the, the yellowing of the leaves continues or the plant is dwarf, right? So how do you make it? How do you, uh, what is the problem? What is the root cause of the problem? So soil pH determines a lot actually, that's what you're going to see today and uh, we are going to also uh, demonstrate how I'm going to change my soil pH level, I'm going to demonstrate it but before that I'm going to explain um, the water soil pH and uh, how do you amend it, how do you change you know the, the alkaline or acidic content of the soil is what we're going to see today. So, so, so what is a soil right, so soil is a mixture of organic or inorganic matter uh, so including minerals, organic, uh, organic matter, water or air, right? So that's that's kind of the definition of the soil. So there are different types of soil. So there are sand, sandy soil and sludge soil, clay and uh, loamy soil. So each of the soil has its own pH content. So what happens is some of the plants thrive in uh, acidic soil, some of them thrive in alkaline soil and some of them thrive in a neutral soil. So what does alkaline, acidic and uh, neutral soil mean? So that is determined through the uh, the pH range which basically ranges from 0 to 14 right and 7 is basically the neutral soil right so 7 is the neutral soil. So let's dig into more about uh, what the soil pH mean. So it's important to understand you know what kind of pH your soil has right so this is the ideal the 6 to 7 is the ideal uh, soil pH level for most of the plants right so it's slightly acidic to neutral soil and in the next slide we we'll look at you know some of the plants uh, which uh, who, who require which requires more acidity or alkaline soil but most of the plants require you know around 6 to 7 range so we already told you uh, you know 7 is uh, is the is the right kind of uh, neutral soil so, um, so you need to understand what the the soil acidity or you know what the soil pH is, and uh, if you are trying to grow a plant which requires more alkaline soil, then what you have to do is you know you have to make some soil amendments. And if your soil you know if your soil is naturally you know around six or seven, if it requires like eight or whatever, then you got to make some soil amendments in order to increase it. The same thing actually, if you are trying to you know if your soil is around six to seven or more than seven seven point five. And if you want to make the soil more acidic, for example, blueberries, right? Blueberries, they require uh, more uh, acidic content, actually, of the, of the soil uh, in order to absorb the nutrients. So you can still kind of grow the soil, you know, if, if for example, if you're, if you're growing a blueberry and the blueberry requires acidic soil and you're growing here. So what happens, you know, the, so the, the, the plant will still thrive, but, uh, you know, it will not absorb the nutrients from the soil for it to uh, grow and uh, produce, you know, uh, better yield actually so that is the problem so, so it's always a good idea to uh, you know understand your pH level and then do the amendments so in order to uh, raise the pH right so if you're um, you know if the acidity is low and if you want to grow uh, uh, you know uh, some of the trees you know which requires alkaline soil so the one thing to do is uh, to add you know agricultural limestone actually so limestone is typically what need to be added in order to raise the pH and uh, so so in order to reduce uh, the, the acidic content right in order to make it as acidic content and reduce the pH level so what need to be done is uh, adding aluminium sulfate or uh, elemental sulfur is what is required so this is what we are going to do today and uh, so I'm going to use an organic uh, uh, fertilizer called FST is what I'm going to use uh, I'm going to add this to my uh, 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 to my uh, uh, mandarin orange and I have a, a, a mayor lemon actually which I'm going to add I'm going to show you so those are the different uh, ways to kind of uh, you know ch uh, amend your soil and then uh, make sure that the plants are absorbing the nutrients and it has optimal conditions for us to grow and have healthy and produce you know nice fruits so one more point I want to bring up here is so if you're really looking at you know uh, this is a scale right where we are uh, talking about the six and seven so between six and seven so even though the, the pH scale is given as a, in, a, in a numerical fashion, so if the soil is at 6, say for example 6 and you want to push it to 7, so what happens is the soil has is 10 times more acidic. So each scale represents what, you know, it is 10 times more acidic compared to what you want to achieve. 
right so that's that's kind of the scale actually it kind of uh, represents the scale i think it's probably good to know to understand and you know the severity of what what you are uh, really dealing with here so the other point here is you know uh, so alkaline soil means you know it's characterized by high concentration of calcium and magnesium and uh, low concentration of uh, you know hydrogen ions so in this case um, you know it is high concentration of hydrogen ions if it is acidic soil and low concentration of calcium magnesium and uh, as i said earlier some of the plants like you know blueberries azaleas they prefer acidic soil and uh, we'll kind of quickly review a table on you know what what the acidity is required for some of those plants and uh, some of the other plants you know uh, thrive in neutral and alkaline condition so here actually i've given a you know ph level for common plants actually and uh, i'll provide some links actually where you can go and check uh, what the uh, uh, what the ph level is the plant that you are growing but uh, if you really look at it you know uh, at a high level you know, the blueberries and cranberries you know all this require you know 4.44 to 5.0 uh, slightly acidic content and uh, same with you know uh, hydrangeas and uh, you know dogwood and some of those things require high acidic content and uh, the so what we are going to demonstrate today is you know mandarin oranges and lemon mayer plants lemon uh, mayer lemon improved mayer lemons what i have so they do require you know 5.5 to 6.5 so i have a 7.0 uh, content on my soil and uh, we will see how to uh, reduce uh, it to more uh, acidic content actually so that's what you're going to see how to do the soil amendment what we are going to use so again rose and strawberries and uh, they require 6 to 6.5 and uh, you know some of the other plants grapes and uh, vegetables they require you know so most of them you know this is kind of the sweet spot actually you know where this is what it grows and there are some plants which kind of uh, you know uh, prefer you know more acidic or alkaline Okay, so now let's go and demonstrate, you know, so what to do and how to, uh, you know, make the amendments for this, uh, uh, my mandarin orange and then the lemon uh, mayor trees and uh, and how you're going to go do the amendments. I'm going to use something called FST and uh, it's an organic uh, uh, kind of fertilizer, uh, which is going to add a bit more sulfur into the soil and it's going to make the amendments. So this is a citrus uh, plant, uh, this is a mandarin orange and uh, the soil pH, you know, that it thrives, you know, is at... Uh, 5.5 to 6.2 uh, it needs to be slightly acidic actually and alkaline content uh, will make sure that the the nutrients are not absorbed so that's why you see these leaves are yellowish so this is a soil meter so that you can easily get it uh, from uh, amazon okay i hope you can see the reading there so so i basically uh, change it to measure the ph it can uh, measure the ph and moisture so the the content here is actually uh, alkaline right so it's around seven so usually it thrives pretty good between 5.5 to 6. so this definitely requires a soil amendment and i'm going to show you how to do that actually um, so usually the best time to do the soil amendment is sometime in fall uh, but now it's early uh, you know it's kind of, kind of you know late winter so i'm going to do it now actually um, because you know i want this you know, plants to grow well i'm going to go do the soil amendment now so in order to measure the soil uh, ph you know what you do is you know you just uh, dip it inside the soil and then you basically check you know what is the, the soil ph right and that will give you the soil ph so look at this plant actually so this is a mayor lemon and uh, this also requires a ph of uh, 5.5 to 6.2 and i'm checking the the soil uh, uh, ph of the soil as you see here it's kind of in the green area. Okay, now you can probably see it properly. So it's in the green area, right? So it's almost seven actually. So it does require a soil amendment. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So here's what I'm going to use uh, in order to change the soil amendment. And uh, so it's called FST and uh, I'll put a link actually, I got it in the green acres. I can put a link on where to buy it. So it does contain, you know, sulfur, magnesium, zinc, and uh, it uh, lowers the soil pH, right? So this is what is required for citrus trees. So this is one of the reasons, uh, you know, why the plants thrive in some places and uh, it doesn't thrive in the other places because the pH is very important. And citrus plants, um, you know, a lot of you love it, but uh, make sure that your soil is, uh, you know, the pH level uh, before you plant it. But if not, right, then you can always use one of these amendments to do it. So I've used it last year and uh, it has been doing good. Um, so this one, it says basically ink trees, one pound tree, right? One pound per tree. And it's kind of an ink tree actually. Um, I'd probably use one, 1.5 pounds is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to uh, 
basically apply this uh, on the tree line what I'm going to use so let's go ahead and do it okay I've got three pounds of this and uh, I have two citrus trees I'm going to put one and a half pounds each 1.5 pounds each and uh, let's get to action all right let's uh, go ahead and uh, do the FST uh, into the soil now uh, mix it into the soil before I show you uh, how to do it uh, so you see these are the basic tools you need uh, just a weeder and then uh, just a regular tiller uh, so it's a simple tools only okay uh, so you see here actually so we are going to do it in the drip line so the drip line is basically you know right here in the circle so what i'm going to do now is uh, i'm going to just remove the the bark here around the plant So the reason to do this here is that uh, so if you do it here then what happens is the all the roots kind of end here and then uh, so it will be able to kind of absorb um, the, the soil nutrition as well as uh, you know it will change the soil uh, pH content also it lower the soil pH content so the nutrients uh, kind of you know easily gets absorbed to the roots that's the whole idea. I'm going to take uh, one and a half pounds and then I'm going to just uh, spray it into the soil. Now nicely work this into the soil. Close this up. We're going to put the bark back. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just uh, drench it in water. So the water basically penetrates inside. Uh, you know, it takes the the soil amendments, uh, the the FST into the soil, mixes into the soil, kind of goes in nicely, and then change the pH of the soil. Alright, so this is a improved male lemon and uh, this also requires uh, slightly acidic up to 5.5 and 6.2. So what I did was in the drip line, I just nicely raked it up and uh, I just put the FST. So to improve the, the acidity of the content. So now I'm going to work it out into the soil. And then just nicely water it. I'm just gonna nicely rake this into the soil. Now mix it up. Right. So now what I do is uh, I just thoroughly water it all around so that. Uh, the water kind of goes and mixes mixes it up and changes the soil, the soil amendments. Um, so this plant was uh, actually uh, had a lot of yellow leaves last year, and uh, I did do this amendment. So as you see, it has improved a lot. And uh, another tip I can think of is a uh, couple of years since it's planted, and I did remove all the plants because uh, you know you don't want to have flowers. Actually, it's going to reduce the leaves, so you want to have more leaf production in the first uh, couple of years. And uh, so once you have the leaf production, then after that, you know, you can start the, the fruit production, right? So, so I did uh, remove the flowers. So it's a good idea to remove the flowers in the first uh, couple of years. And uh, starting from third year, you can have a good yield actually. So because all the flowers are going to take the energy from the leaves. So I would gi give some tips like this actually. So please do watch uh, the entire video. And uh, so... That's pretty much it actually folks actually for this one and so i put the soil amendment i'm going to check uh, the soil ph uh, in a bit and uh, i'm going to check you know how it is and it's improved or not and so hopefully if you like this video please do click like and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, please leave a comment thanks for watching
I will see you soon in another video. Bye.